saved by the bell. <laughs> yeah, that kind of sums up belting in the students, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, they're showing the slides and they're snoring and, uh, you know. You know, it looks like a lot of fun. It is. I mean, I know it's hard work, but it really looks like you guys are enjoying yourselves. Well, I, we have been together for so long. I mean, this started back in 1988 as Miss Bliss, as you know, and I have gotten to watch the kids grow up over the years, and as, as Tiffany, the girl who plays Kelly, told me just the other day, she's gotten to watch me grow up, too. <laughs> but you know, I happened to catch a rerun yesterday, and it was on WGN, and it was one of the early shows from probably 1988. Right. And for instance, the character of Zach, mm -hmm. the, the blonde lead, his voice hadn't changed yet. He was very small <laughs> and had this high-pitched little voice. You look the same. You haven't changed. Well, I, you know, I think they're, they're in their growing process, those spurting years. You know, mm -hmm. I, I've already done my spurting. <laughs> I, that was all over with. It's amazing to me how from that show, Miss Bliss, with Haley Mills and other adults and a few kids, and the emphasis was on the adults, that Brandon Tartikoff, then head of, of NBC, and our executive producer, Peter Engel, said, hey, this kid, Mark Paul Goslar, is who we're going to center our show around. Mm -hmm the kid with the squeaky voice. And they took him and two other kids and myself, and this thing has been amazing. We are syndicated all over the world. I get phone calls from France. No. I've changed my number. <laughs> um, and uh, letters, and, and it's just unbelievable. Well, there were some people who called here very concerned about a month ago because there were articles in the daily papers, in USA Today, NBC revamping Saturday morning. Oh. They're going to replace all these shows. Well, with we the, just heard about this, didn't we? Yeah, with a Today Show. And people are saying, wait a minute, wait a minute, are they going to take off Saved by the Bell? No. What's no, from what I understand, they're going to do an expanded kids' version of today mm -hmm. on Saturday morning, and they will have two half hours of Saved by the Bell. The, the kids did 13 episodes away from school, so I'm not part of that, you know, like their summer vacation and at the beach and Palm Springs. But all the other shows that we've done are at the school. So uh, some of them will be those away, but they will both be two half hours of Saved by the Bell. This, it's basically... Uh, one of the best things NBC has going on Saturday morning, so just giving a double dose of it. Great. We've seen some shows with kids go on a little too long. For instance, head of the class. I mean, <laughs> they were 30 years yeah, old. Some of those kids were getting a little long in the tooth by the end right. of that show. Will Save by the Bell go on and on and on, or is there a definite stopping well, point? I just got chills because we shot our last episode just the other day. Now, that I don't want to scare anybody. That means we shot our graduation show where the kids graduate from high school. We have shot a lot of episodes. Most shoes, most shoes, most shows shoot uh, 20 shows a season. Mm -hmm. We have gone on and on because the producers want the kids to be the actual age they are mm -hmm. while we're filming. Now we're gonna shoot a few more, but we have enough shows done to last through 1993. So, uh, I mean, if you really are worried, don't worry because it will be. Uh, still there for several more years. Now, with that many shows done, you realize, I mean, you've got to realize that thanks to reruns, these shows will be seen by my kids and their it's kids. It'll go on forever. You know, somebody told me the other day, they said, you are going to be Mr. Belding to a whole generation of kids. Mm -hmm. I was just happy to have a job. Right. It was, uh, you know, you've talked to me. We were talking to someone else a minute ago about the amazing stories with the Mox Cap and the Magnums and the O'Haras. This was another job. It's a job that's lasted a long time and become successful, and because of that, I've gained a lot of experience and a lot of exposure. And it's going to look like I'm making tons of money because the show's going to go on forever, but I will have been paid and long gone and looking for other work. But it's been an incredible experience. Well, now, when you visited with us a few years ago, you called yourself the king of the don't blinks right. <laughs> because you had these little bit parts in a lot of shows, right. and people would run into you at the mall and go, uh, yeah, yeah, I uh, did, did, uh, now they run into you, and what do they say? Mr. Belding, Mr. Belding, <laughs> or my, or my uh, this one lady just the other day, very nice. They're always nice. Mm -hmm. They really are. This lady came up and said, my kids just want to say hi to Mr. Belding, and I'm, I'm always glad to do that. Mm -hmm. You know, because it's it's a recognition that you've made what you not you what you do makes somebody happy. Saved by the Bell every Saturday morning at 11 o'clock, a full hour here on Channel 3, and it will be on for years to come with exciting new episodes. Dennis Haskins, good luck. Keep in touch. Thanks, David. It's always good to see you. Look forward really to see is. what happens to Dennis Haskins. We'll be back with more of Live at Noon right after these messages.